Hello everyone, I'm Bukenya Moses from Uganda. Currently we're studying Bachelor of Pharmacy at the School of, so of Pharmaceutical Sciences and Pharmacy at Hokkaido University. So I started looking out for opportunities and I mostly focused on USA, Japan and Switzerland because the, the above three were the biggest players in the drug manufacturing industry at the time. Actually, even up to date, the situation hasn't changed a lot. The reason why I chose Japan was because relative to other countries, it was much safer. It was, the cost of living was much cheaper. And also, the industry, if you look at the size of the industry relative to the population, Japan was performing better than other countries. Also, given the longer life expectancy of the, of the country, I thought if you want to study health studies, this might be the best place to, to go to. In, in real terms, the only challenge I had was my language skills. I came to Japan when I couldn't even write my own name in Japanese, so I really had to depend on others for the past, first few months. And luckily the university and the community provided their best to help me acclimatize to the environment. However, after something like six months, I'd gained enough language skills to handle myself in almost all day-to-day -day activities. And by the ninth month, I was fluent enough to handle business. Well, before coming to Japan, Mostly, I had known Japan as the home of Toyota, and so I, I expected everyone to be having a car. <laughs> but when I came here, I realized that actually most people use bicycles, and they depend on the efficient public transport system of trains, buses, and cheap air transport to move within the boundaries. In Japan, every individual, whether small or big, young or old, is expected to be accountable to himself and to the community. And the best thing about it is that it's not after being policed by someone, but that sense of accountability is within everyone itself. So you find that even if, for instance, people are working, people would be carrying their on rubbish, they are rubbish back home, irrespective of no one seeing that, because even if they really did that mischief and threw them away, no, no one would be seeing. But you find that that sense, that sense of accountability is held by everyone, and I think that's the reason for the success of the whole community and the whole society at large. After school, we had enough time to interact with Japanese students and also to interact with fellow international students and that helped us to build our language skills given that we could freely express ourselves even though we really could make so many mistakes here and there but in the long run it helped us to learn. Once I finish my PhD I intend to join the industry for something like 10 to 15 years to get a hands-on experience on the operations of the drug industry and thereafter I intend to go back home and carry the skills that I've learned here and help to spur growth in our local pharmaceutical industry. Japan is, first of all, is a big economic power and that means that you will stand an opportunity, you will have an opportunity to link Japan and your home country. Now for the case of African students, Currently, the trade relations between Japan and, and Africa are not so deep, and that means that you have a big role as an ambassador of your country to Japan, but also an ambassador of Japan back to your country. Deepening economic ties, I think that will help spur growth within Africa. And secondly, you have access to everything you do need to conduct your research. For those of you who are worried about the language skills, <laughs> I'm sure when you come here and be immersed, after a year or so, you'll be great at, at Japanese. But even those who can't manage Japanese, there are courses even at Hokkaido University that are instructed in English. 
and they cover sciences, natural sciences, engineering. So there is no excuse for you for not pursuing your goal. I don't think it's enough to be scared by a language or fear of for your safety because Japan is safe. So on all fronts, I find Japan the best place to study from abroad. Thank you.